Intruder alert! Gabe! Thank God. They were shooting me up with some kind of drug. What the hell kind of place is this, Gabe? There's no time. I have a chopper outside a half mile away. Here are its coordinates. Take this and get to the security room at Free Ramirez. Get up to the street any way you can and wait for me at the chopper. Thanks, Logan. You saved my ass again. Just move. You can see signs of the virus at work on the internal organs by looking for discoloration and swelling. This particular strain of the virus was programmed to affect only liver cells. Because the test subject was a heavy alcoholic, we wanted to see how the virus would react to liver cells differentiated by years of abuse. Look here, you can see that the virus cells have adapted nicely to the unforeseen cell structures and have performed their task adequately. How does the virus know which chromosome have been changed if its pre-programmed genetic structure have been altered? Come back with me to the viral lab and I'll show you the matrix we use. Teresa, they're experimenting on living human beings. Yeah. You're not going to believe what's in these data files. You're wrong. I'll believe anything at this point. Try that vent, Gabe. The virus started, of course, as a potent bioweapon. But as you can see, we have progressed far beyond that. Think of it as a supercomputer, a nanomachine that can be programmed on a genetic level. Incredible! This is just the beginning. The siphon filter virus is the next millennium. With the virus as a delivery system, no cell is immune. Cancer cells will become a thing of the past. Here, look at these slides while I go get the matrix data. I'll be right back. Dr. Weisinger, how good to see you again. You